po kami ngayon, nasa Ever po kami. Babarilan. Gunshots were heard within the vicinity of Ever Godesco Mall in Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon City at around 5.30 in the afternoon yesterday. Shoppers and other bystanders ran for their lives while others hid in the restroom of a nearby fast food chain. Uh, 10 minutes, no, nandun kami. Nagka, nakarinig namin ng putok. Tapos pagkatapos nung no, pagtingin namin sa labas, may nakahiga na. May namatay na. Kaya kami, nagpanik kami lahat. Tumakbo kami sa loob ng CR. Witnesses said the gunfight ensued when two individuals in a motorcycle chase an unknown man in the parking area of said fast food chain. Oh, dalawang rider po. Yung isa po parang nakapagtaka po kasi yung mukha eh. Parang patingin-tingin po siya eh. Hmm. Ayan, bigla po sila may inabol po sa overpass. Hmm. Ayan. Bigla na po ang sunod-sunod na po yung putok. Siguro po mga sampo. Police then began to rescue civilians inside the store. The shooting stopped when Pideo officers informed the NCR police office that their personnel were shot by Quezon City Police. As it turned out, the personalities involved in the shootout were both law enforcement officers. The Pideo was targeting a drug dealer who turned out to be an operative from the PNP District Special Operations Unit. Two police officers from QCPD were killed while their team leader was wounded. One Pideo agent was found dead in a van while two other agents and a civilian assets were wounded. NCR Chief Vicente Danao said both operations were legitimate and they will look into why such mis-encounter occurred. As far as I have uh, received from the district director of QCPD, meron naman silang, ano, meron naman silang uh, pre-ops okay, in uh, coordination with the PDEA. So yung QCPD, ang lakad nila is uh, authorized naman. No? So kung paano nangyari, yun pa yung investiga natin. He also clarified that the police operation is not part of a police modus called cell bus. All instigated cases, bawal po yan. So walang cell bus. Sabi ko nga pa ulit-ulit sa ating mga kapulisan, pag mapung kayo ng taga-region, kahit sino kayo, talagang patay kayo sa akin. Weapons of the two groups have been seized, pending results of the investigation. Reporting for News 5, I'm Gary De Leon. We are One News. In a presser this afternoon, PIDEA Director General Wilkins Villanueva said cases will be filed against those at fault in the incident, be it their personnel or policemen. He also vowed he will not allow any cover-ups in the case. As for the facts of the incident, Villanueva leaves it up to the Bureau of Investigation and defers to whatever the outcome of the probe will be. Metro Manila Police Chief Vicente Danao had earlier said operations of both the PIDEA and a QCPD were legitimate.